What's going on guys? It's the Genesis here. So yes, another bodybuilding rant, another sculpt rant. So if you're not interested, I totally get it. <laughs> but I need to make this video because I need people to understand I ain't the only one talking about this, bro. Okay? Let me show off that glorious chest a little bit more. There we go, bro. No shame in the game, son. <laughs> Um, Kai Green, bro, one of the best to ever do it, dropped a video, dropped a fucking goddamn, uh, <clears throat> well, <laughs> I don't think I can say that word, B-O-M-B, -B. he dropped a big one, bro, you know what I'm saying, uh, Truth B-O-M-B, -B on Mike O'Hearn's channel, which Mike O'Hearn, you know, <laughs> love him or hate him, he's still a smart guy. And uh, I love watching that guy work out, bro. He's just such a fucking inspiration, dude. I mean, really, bro. Like, the dude's almost 60. And he has the body of, like, a fucking 20-year-old. It's, it's more than anything, it's just fascinating to watch, dude. Like, how he totally cheated biology. <laughs> you know what I mean? He just fucking hacked the system, dude. And you gotta respect that shit, you know? Even if he is lying about being daddy... The thing is this, guys, like, you have to understand, and I'm, I'm sorry for the side rant here, but you gotta realize there are people out there in the world who are just completely obsessed with it, bro. And I think Mike is one of them. I don't think that guy eats even a tablespoon of sugar. I mean, maybe in juice. I, I've seen what he eats. He's the healthiest motherfucker I know. Uh, he does tons of cardio, too, which is great, you know what I mean? That's just a another anti-ager, bro, taking care of your heart. So, I mean, <laughs> I think he's just one of those people, dude, who's just... He's able to get it because he just works so goddamn hard. Harder than most people. And I think that's what sets a lot of people off, is because, you know, they don't put in the work that he does, but they're still upset that he looks better than they do. And unfortunately, that's just the beta male generation we live in. But um, <clears throat> I'm glad to know there's still the alphas holding it down out there, bro. Uh, and Kai Green, dude, I just got to say, like, oh, my God, is he not DJ from Street Fighter? Like, that guy is a walking, spitting image of fucking DJ. I'm just waiting for him to do a fucking uh, flying kick, you know, that fucking kick that he does. Uh, what's that fucking, what else does he do? I don't know, bro. I never really played DJ much, but, uh, <laughs> I always sucked with the charge characters like Guile, so I don't really know entirely. <laughs> but all I'm saying, dude, is he, he literally, bro, he reminds me of Rich Piata. He just, he looks like a cartoon character. He's freakishly huge. Um, I don't know if he's big or exic or not. I mean, personally, I think he's just obsessed like Mike O'Hearn, bro. Um, Kai Green, I mean, like, I'll be honest, bro, like, I don't know if he's entirely, um, <laughs> well, I honestly doubt he's full natty. I mean, he's, he's a pro bodybuilder. So, I, I've never seen any video of him coming out and saying that, but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's pretty evident that he probably does use gear. Um, could I be wrong about that? <laughs> Maybe, but <laughs> let's just be honest. The odds are, uh, definitely against him, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> I don't know one person who's a pro bodybuilder that doesn't use gear. I don't know. Even Ronnie Coleman admitted that he used gear, which I knew deep down he probably did, but, <laughs> you know. Still, you gotta love the Coleman, too, but... Anyways, bro, um... What I'm trying to say here is basically Kai Green believes in the sculpt. He believes in the power of sculpting. Just like what I talk about. There's a video, I'll link in the description where he talks about it. Um, you know, he says that it's just, it's an art form because it's something that you can make your own. You can put your own spin on it. You know, your own uh, unique, uh, what's the word, you know, just basically what God gave you, you know, just, um, putting your own into it, and that's what makes it an art form, bro, everyone does shit differently, and not only that, but I gotta go back to the Brad Castleberry shit, you know, about the art of sculpting and how you use a dumbbell as a chisel, um, 
<clears throat> it's the truth, man. And if you're if you don't take the time to sculpt, you're just not gonna be as big. You're not, bro. Because when you sculpt is when you get the ultimate pump, bro. When you, you when you go high rep with that low weight, you you're gonna get that huge just fucking surge of just you know blood flow going throughout your body. Um, it's something that I always do at the end of my workouts, bro. Sometimes before, um, I think mostly I do it at the end though. And it's just it's the ultimate way, dude. It's the ultimate. Um, <clears throat> Way to get big, in my opinion. Heavy weight, you know, <laughs> it's not necessary. You don't need heavy weight to get huge. Anyone who says otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about, bro. They simply just don't. Okay, yeah, you could probably get bigger faster, but you're also giving yourself risk to injury. So, I mean, you know, do you want to be the turtle, the wise turtle, or the careless rabbit? Because you guys know the saying that I love, the, t the tortoise always beats the hare. Okay, and I'm not saying never lift heavy, but don't try to do it every goddamn day. <laughs> You're going to hurt yourself. There's a place for it, sure. I mean, it's fun. It's fun to test your limits. I wish I had more weight so that I could go a little bit heavier, but I don't. And that's okay. I'm a fucking poor motherfucker. I can barely afford what I even have. Uh, which reminds me, I'm probably going to get some more cement one day. I think I'm gonna make some more weights. Um, I know during the pandemic, a lot of people did this. People made their own cement weights. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, man. I actually had mine for a good few years until they all broke, but <laughs> I wasn't using the exact cement that you're supposed to use. Uh, you're supposed to use the ones without rocks in them, but mine I think was called like extra strength cement, so it was real strong. Uh, it just wasn't the one you're supposed to use, but it was still really good, and I like the way it looked. I actually put, like, colorful pebbles in it. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking. Uh, you can probably use it as a lawn ornament now, which is exactly what we're doing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, bro, you know, um, I'll admit, lifting heavy, it's fun, bro. Like, it's fun as fuck doing that shit. But you got to be careful, man, because you're going to end up hurting yourself if you overdo it. Um, people like Eric Bugenhagen, you know, they're entertaining as hell to watch. I love the guy. I won't lie to you guys, you know. I think he has some really stupid takes, but he's super entertaining. He was made to be on camera. You know, the guy's got personality. But people like him, you know, those are the ones that always end up getting hurt. And, um, you know, it's not fun, dude. <laughs> Breaking, you know, uh... Yeah, you could break a bone. I mean, you could tear muscle, anything, dude. Like, it's not fun going to the hospital and having to deal with that for months or years or permanently, you know. Um, I'll even give you guys another example, okay? Kiyoko's Grizzly. Um, I love the guy, you know. He's, in my opinion, the most entertaining weightlifter on YouTuber. Or on YouTube, I mean to say. <laughs> on a YouTuber. He's squishing YouTubers, everybody. Uh, no, but um, he has... I'm just going to be honest. He has that same stupid philosophy that like, you always have to go heavy. And that's the reason why he also has injuries. He has a torn left bicep, and I think his back is torn. That's the reason why he can only push that fucking sled. <laughs> that's the only thing he does now. It's because of his injuries. You know, if, if he didn't have those injuries, he'd be able to do so much more. You know, oh well, you know, I mean, I don't feel sorry for you, dude. As much as I love you, bro, but you kind of did that to yourself with that kind of mindset, bro. Um, you know, Eric Bugenhagen, he always loves to say that, it's a mindset. No, bro, it's a fucking stupid-ass philosophy is what it is. Okay, yeah, it's just, it, it's, it's... More than anything, bro, it's just very douchey, <laughs> okay? And I understand the irony of me wearing a fedora saying that, but it's a very douchey muscle head philosophy that makes bodybuilders look bad. When you when you say shit like, you're old, you just gotta go hard to go home, bro, or, you know, shit like that, like, well, you can still go hard on low weights, so maybe that's a bad example, but... <laughs> 
You guys know what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, guys. I was doing a lot of cardio earlier. So, yes, you're going to get laggy Genesis. Uh, the Genesis is still a bit lagged. But, um... <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you all are having a good Halloween. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to do much for you guys. I really wanted to. Uh, I know I dropped that video about Saratoga. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. My fucking creepy-ass, weird-ass ghetto neighborhood. Uh, I, don't even know, I don't know if you can even call it a neighborhood. It's just a fucking get, uh, ghetto fucking ghost land. I don't know. <laughs> it's it, There's probably more ghosts than actual people here. Like, seriously, bro. Population 800, motherfucking uh, no man's land. But, you know, I'm grateful for what I have in life. And I just want you guys to know that. I know things could be worse for me. Um, I could be living in the actual projects like Deller, you know. I'm so glad that guy escaped the ghetto. Oh, my God, bro. He was living in Section 8, bro. <laughs> like, that place is sketchy. Uh, motherfucking, where is Section 8? I forgot. Um... But anyways, yeah, that's like Fifth Ward here in Houston. I, I know that kind of ghetto, and it's not a fun place to be. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, yeah, guys, gratitude, being grateful is, is a very, very good thing to help you in life. Um, it will enhance your mood, you know, especially if you're into likes to, what is it? I'm sorry, guys, I am fucking fading out, holy shit. Uh, if you're into stuff like manifestation and the law of attraction, gratitude is very important because it, it, it really does change your mindset. Like, there is a science to it. It's, it's not just about, you know, be thankful. And when you're thankful, you know, you'll uh, appreciate things. There actually is a bigger science to it. Same with smiling. I, I've talked about this before. The power of smiling is very, very uh, effective when it comes to manifestation. And just overall improving your mental health. Even if it's a fake smile, bro, fake it till you make it, you know. <laughs> That's what I do, bro. Uh, I practice smiling every day. I practice uh, gratitude and things like that. And <clears throat> I know I kind of changed subjects here, but I just wanted to throw that out there, guys. Because I gotta be real, man. You know, mental health is very important in today's world. And unfortunately, there's a guy I knew on Twitter who took his own life. Um... <clears throat> His name was uh, I Am The Cheese, also Replicant Pinky. Uh, rest in peace to him. And, uh, you know, I knew the guy. I didn't know him super well, but it was just, it was really depressing to hear about that shit. Uh, I did like that guy, man. He just, I could tell he dealt a lot with loneliness. And that's the number one reason why people actually commit suicide. For those of you who didn't know, uh, loneliness, you know, heartbreak, stuff like that is the number one reason. Um, that and just, you know, feeling a lack of purpose, feeling like a failure. Uh, that's, unfortunately, um, if you guys knew about Suicide Forest, uh, that's where the Japanese people a lot of times go to if they, like, failed a company. Like, it, it's very business-orientated over there. Like, they're basically taught by their parents, like, if you don't make a lot of money, you're a failure. It's really sad. I don't know why people idolize Japanese culture so much. It's it's honestly really kind of sick. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. It's not great. Uh, I, I really don't have that much respect for Japanese people. I have to be honest with you guys. And that's the reason why their suicide rate is so high. It's because they have that mindset where your, own, your only purpose on here is to make money. You know, and um, that's not the truth, bro. Like, there's way more to life. And I feel sorry for them that they can't see it. And I'm not prejudiced. I don't hate Japanese people. I just want to make that clear. I just find their mindset, their philosophies kind of sad and depressing. Uh, a lot of them are atheists, too. You know, they don't believe in any sort of higher being. And I think that's kind of sad. But um, I guess it's for another video. I don't want to go too much in the spirituality realm. Because I will be here all day if I do that. And you guys know that. And I don't want to do that to you. But, um... Anyways, guys, there you go. The art of the sculpt. You heard it from the best to do it, Kai Green. What I'm saying is practiced by the best, guys. You can make fun of me all you want. You can call me a law cow, a lot, a lot of this, you know, law llama, <laughs> law cowboy. It's one of my favorite ones. Uh, <clears throat> but 
the proof is in the goddamn pudding, bro. Okay. <laughs> I'm not just pulling shit out of my ass. And I know my haters can see that. They just, they're desperately trying to make me look as stupid as they can to try to, you know, uh, um, further their agenda on me. And pretty soon that agenda is going to go bye-bye <laughs> as soon as they get 500 subs. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start, you know, new control channels once I get partnered by YouTube. And that'll be the it for them, you know. They, they can make more channels, but they know the same thing will happen to them eventually. So, it really doesn't matter. Uh, they're fucked either way. and <laughs> They know it. That's why they're freaking out right now. And I find it hilarious. So... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, there you go. 15-minute video. Not too bad for today. Uh, I want to react to uh, James Rolf. That's right, AVGN. I want to react to one of his videos. Uh, his um... <laughs> board James, he did the, the dream phone. I think I'm going to do that one. Uh, I have to admit, that's probably my favorite video that he ever made <laughs> was a was about a game made for girls, but it's just really great. It's hilarious, really well done. Um, it was back when Mike Matei was more tolerable, you know, and they had Bootsy on the show too. I love Bootsy, man. He's actually on Twitter if you want to holler at him. Uh, he's a really cool guy. But uh, anyways, guys, that's what I got for you on this video. We'll see you next time. Peace.